Before the Umatic, the video recording used only reel-to-reel -reel tapes. The Umatic was the first system which moved the tape into a closed housing called cassettes. テレビの常識を全く変えたソニービデオカセットの登場です。The format targeted the professional market mainly. It was introduced in 1969 and available for buyers from 1971. It uses a quarter inch tape, 19mm. This is named after its threading shape which forms a letter U. The first models were the VO1600 recorder, VP1000 and VP1100. The VO1600 had an internal tuner, but no timer, that was an optional separate unit, the TT100. The first generation machines were very simple, only play, record, forward and rewind and pause functions. Later, the jog shuttle, LTC, VITC and Dolby noise filter were added. In 1974, the first portable unit, the VO3800, for easier carriage, only approximately 14 kg weight. Sony Umatic video cassette is the In 1976, broadcast video Umatic, the BVU series was launched, also known as High Band. From this time, it was generally called the original Umatic format, Low Band. It became popular quite quickly in broadcasting as it had better colors and reduced noise and also used higher carrier frequency. Smaller size cassettes were also introduced, so portable units became easier to carry. The small tapes, 20 minutes, the full-size one, had a maximum recording time of 60 minutes. The studio units from this time were able to use both sides of cassettes, but the older ones had to use adapters. In the 80s, Umatic was commonly used for digital audio mastering. This was because the Sony PCM-1600, 1610, and 1630 came onto the market. The PCM adapters can digitalize the audio and generate a pseudo video signal, which can be used by the recorder as a proper video signal. The audio CD 44.1 kHz sampling was calculated, considered to be the best option, as it had to work both PAL and NTSC resolution bandwidth. For the PAL system, this means the following 294 active lines per field multiplied 50 field per second, multiplied 3 samples per line. So 294 multiplied 50 multiplied 3 equals 44,100. The CD Glassmaster was often created from this PCM adapter digital output. The laser light was projected onto a light sensitive material. The last revision of Umatic format in 1986 was the Umatic SP. SP is for superior performance, which was adopted from Betacam SP. The tapes became chrome dioxide, the frequency was raised to 5.6, 7.2 MHz, the resolution was also raised to 330 lines. From the BVU series, four video heads were used. The BVU 900 series became the last Umatic generation. The top model is the BVU 950. The Umatic stayed on the two audio channels but got other features like TBC, time base corrector, dropout filter and the DAP connector on multiple wires were able to transfer the signals at a relative low loss.
Even though the technology advanced beyond the umatic format, many small companies and TV channels continued to use it until the 90s. The Betamax and Betacam were also based on the umatic format. Thanks for watching and see you next time.